Welcome to Rally 101 on gearboxes. In this video we're going to discuss how the gearbox in the Hyundai i20 Rally 2 car works, what changes you can make and how it affects the performance. gearbox is one of the most crucial parts on the car. Through this whole housing here we not only have the gearbox but we also have the differential which then connects to the drive shafts and ultimately out to the wheels. So here we have a five speed sequential gearbox and by sequential it means we basically don't have to use a clutch. Once we're up and running we pull the lever to go up a gear, push the lever down to go down a gear and it's all synced with the ECU and the gear cut to basically allow us to do gear changes in a hundredth of a second. So how do we transfer the power from the engine through the gearbox and utilize the different gears and the ratios. Well, it starts from the input shaft. And the input shaft is the key to actually transferring the power from the engine through the flywheel into the gearbox. So once this is in the gearbox, this engages with the other input shaft within the gearbox, which then has its gears. And there's three shafts inside the gearbox. We've got the selector fork barrel, we've got the input shaft, and we have the output shaft. The input shaft is the main shaft that is spinning through the power distribution from the motor and there are five different gears for the five-speed gearbox plus a reverse that are spinning on this input shaft. But each gear is coupled with a dog ring. And this dog ring is then is what is matched with the selector fork to help us select each gear. So as each transition from the gear lever from the driver is, is activated, this will then activate which dog it wants to select in the gearbox. Once that dog is selected, it will engage up against the gear and it will start driving this gear on the input shaft. Once the gear is selected on the input shaft, this is then matched up with its brother or sister on the output shaft, and then this is what activates the output shaft drive down to the crown wheel, and then that activates the pinion, which goes to the differential, which then distributes our power out to the wheels. Obviously the differential is also key to how the gearbox is working, so if you want to know how that works, we have a separate video of that, so check it out in our Rally 101s. So in terms of what changes we can do to the gearbox, we are limited. We basically have two ratios, a long and a short. What these different ratios mean is it affects the way that the car accelerates and the top speed. A long ratio gearbox gives us a slightly higher top speed, but also a bigger RPM drop between each gear. So this then has to work in correlation to your engine mapping and your torque curves of the car. In contrast, a shorter gear ratio will have shorter gears, will give you better power, better acceleration, but a lesser top speed. So it comes down to the type of rally and even surface that you're competing into whether you need a high or a short ratio. So when we talk about different ratios, the difference is not only the size of the gear but also maybe the amount of teeth it has. And basically we have a full kit of gears that will differentiate between a long or short ratio that we change as a kit set. So once the gearbox is complete and ready to go in the car, you can see here it's one big unit but there's a few key elements uh, surrounding the gearbox here that are crucial to its operation. Starting with oil, you can see we've got our inlet and our outlet to, to lubricate the internals of the gearbox. Things get very hot inside, so we've got to keep things cool and try and reduce friction to increase the efficiency of the gearbox. We also have the selector fork here on the back. This is connected to the gear lever through a rod uh, with, a, with a gear cut system that is built into the gear lever. Uh, we also have where it mounts into the car. We've got the, uh, the gearbox mount. This mounts into the chassis. And then of course we have where our drive shafts come in, our left and right drive shafts, and then out the back we have straight out to the prop shaft. On top of that we also have our clutch slave cylinder, which is uh, part of the gearbox here. We have our hydraulic feed lines to come in and to make the slave cylinder operational. So that was our guide to how the gearbox works on a Hyundai i20 Rally 2 car, what changes you can make and how it affects the performance. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe.